Welcome to Edit Share. In this video, we'll look at Flow Story. Flow Story is a powerful editorial application for remote productions. Hi, this is Nathan Rausch, pre sales engineer with Edit Share. Today, we're going to take a walk through Flow Story. When a user logs into Flow Story, they can create a new project or they can pick up an existing project that may have been started in Flow Story or started with Airflow. Here's a project that was started in Airflow. Let's open this one. I can access all of my Flow Storage locations here. I can browse right to collections of files, and all of these files are streaming Flow proxies. So I can use Flow Story from anywhere in the world to access my production site. In addition, I can access local files. So if I had media on a local drive, I could create a link to that media, transcode it, or copy it to my server. Flow Story also has integrations with amazing music tracks, audio network, and Pond5 for stock music and stock footage. The files streaming from the server are proxy files that Flow generates. The proxy files Flow generates are time code accurate, frame rate accurate, and split up to eight channels. If I would like to download footage and I have the proper permissions, I can select a file or group of files, right click and download the media. Here I have a choice of high-res assets, proxy media, or both. Now within the project, I have access to all of the clips, including sequences. This might be a sequence that was generated by another user in Flow Story. This could also be a sequence that someone created in Airflow. Airflow is our light web-based interface. Here in Flow Story, we can take that sequence a bit further. Let's double-click this sequence to open it. Again, this is a cuts-only, one-track sequence because it was created in Airflow. But now in Flow Story, if I right-click, I can create multiple audio and video tracks. Now that we have multiple tracks, we can move video around, we can do multiple layers, we can do standard J cuts and L cuts, we can add dissolves, transitions, and wipes. You can record a voiceover directly in your timeline. You can mix streaming proxies from your Flow server with material you might have on a local drive. Flow Story also gives you the ability to do color correction, 3D movements and titles, mats and keys, and some basic plugins. The audio editing tab gives you the ability to do volume and pan automation, as well as some basic audio plugins. Once our sequence is complete, we right click and publish our sequence. Flow Story can publish directly to Vimeo or YouTube, and you can also publish to Flow. Publishing to Flow presents you with three options. One, create a sequence proxy. This lets other users using Airflow view your multi-track sequence. The second option is to create a clip from the sequence. This presents you with options for your storage destination, your size and rate, and your compression. The third option is to upload unsynced clips. This means anything that doesn't already exist in the Flow database will get uploaded there. I can choose my storage destination and publish. Now other users in the Flow system have access to all of my material. They can open the sequence and nothing will be offline. Flow can do this from anywhere in the world with a server hosted at your facility or in the cloud. For more information or to get started using Flow, please contact EditShare.